He's hitting me up asking me to do Kizu Guruma. Cool. Alright, man. I'm talking to you, not hey guys. One kid always hitting me up on Instagram. It's like, hey, can you show me Kizu Guruma? And it's not like a technique that I'm like very proficient at. I know it. It's like not my expertise. But I'm gonna show it. It may suck, right? <laughs> but I'm gonna go for it. Okay, just because he's been hitting me up on Instagram all the time. So this is for you. Great job for being persistent. Hit me up at all hours of the day. Good for you. Congratulations on your yellow belt, right? Okay, uh, a lot of the times what happens, right versus right, let's look at, right? Ouchi situation here, okay? And Sasai goes to the backside here, right? He's a guruma to the backside. It's pretty common. A lot of people do this, right? I attack Osoro, I look for the turn throw, I have dominant position, Osoro Osoro, massive turn throw, I fake and then I go Sasai, or I can go higher for the Hizagruma. Okay? So that's sort of the basic idea, right? But this technique that I'm doing now is going toward the non-controlled sleeve side. Okay, this side I control the sleeve, this back side notice, right? I don't control the sleeve. So I'm looking for Osoro, I'm looking for turn throw, and in order for him to resist that turn throw on the Osoro, he leans into this direction. Look, lean into it. Ah, look, I can't even finish the Osoro. So I'm going to make it look like I'm going to go Osoro, and then I block the shin, block the knee, and then go, right? But everyone knows this already. So this is not going to be like a special thing, it's not like a mind-blowing thing, but this is going to be a little bit different. Dominant position, okay, we're going to go Ouchi, and as he's leaning back into me, I'm gonna lean back, move, and then block with my foot onto the outside of his knee, okay? I'm gonna try to connect my foot so it goes around on the bend of the knee, and that's gonna provide a lot of stickiness to where his knee cannot rotate outward, okay? If he could rotate his knee outward and then bend the knee, right? Now it's gonna be very, very difficult for me to throw him in this direction. But if I could block this foot and then keep his knee rotated inward, now I could apply a little bit of force going in this direction. Now, with any timing oriented throw, if I catch myself in this position, I can't apply that much force going into this direction, right? Compare this with something that's a little bit more power oriented, like a massive koshiguruma where I can throw my entire body weight into the technique. This is very, very much so a timing oriented attack. So, I go ouchi, right? Weight comes off of this leg, and then you try to create a lot of space, and then I go to this leg, okay? Ouchi, he's a good one. Okay? Ouchi, he's a good one. Works a little bit better right versus left, okay? Right versus left, right? Boom, here it is, right? But the reaction has to be perfect. If he reacts to the Ouchi by leaning into me, Leaning into me, leaning into me this way. Keep that leg forward. <laughs> leaning into me here. All right, keep your elbows tucked in. Boom. Right? Now is not the time for me to go. He's a groomer because look, I can't, I'm not gonna be able to do it. Okay? He has to be kind of circling away from this technique. Circling away. Right? So you do this to me. Go OG. Whoa! Yeah, there it is. Okay, so it's very, very reaction oriented. So it's something that you can learn. Uh, there's some people who do it really well, right? I've seen one guy do this, come over the top, catch here, hand goes to the lapel here, and then I go, right? I've seen that sort of a situation. Uh, but those are some of the piece of grim ideas. If you go both ways on it, it'll definitely help you. If you film yourself and you send it to me, I'll give you feedback. All right, Close. thank you. Keep training.